Today on the channel from Super 7 Ultimate Series 2, G.I. Joe, we got Lady J. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Super 7 Ultimate Series 2 unboxing and review. And today, we got Flint's best gal. We got the mighty Lady J. But for all your Lady J, G.I. Joe needs and everything else under the sun, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description below. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's dive into old Lady J. See what all the fuss is about. Oh, there's fuss. As Flint is my favorite Joe character, but my favorite female Joe character. Obviously going to be Lady J. Something special about Lady J in the cartoon back in the day. The short hair, the uh, never say die attitude, the tough chick persona. Man, I was here for Lady J all day long and twice on Sunday. Yes, you heard it here first, but there she is. Big window box looking good. Looking good, Lady J. Got the dog tag name down there. Got G.I. Joe at the top, of course. Nothing on the side. Nothing on the side. Then, of course, the back. Looking good. We got quite the blurbage there for her. She's all about the master of disguise. She's like the female Baroness in some ways, but very hard to read. I don't like kind of the glare on there. You kind of got to focus your eyes a little bit to read that. I did forget, of course, you do get the slipcase cover for these. Very Super 7. I always like that extra edition. And then, of course, we all know about these, the old uh, mailer boxes. Always good to see these as well. So you do get these with it uh, as well. But now let's see what's going on. Let's see what Lady J's up to in the old plastic prison. Oh, I'm sure she's up to some things. She's up to some things, and she's got a lot of stuff with her, I'm sure. Yes, she does. She's got a lot of different stuff. There's a little tape action. A little tape. Uh-oh, we lost a hand. We lost a hand, but there she is in the plastic prison. Looking good, only like a Lady J could look in Series 2 of the Ultimate Edition line, for sure. Looking nice there. And then you do get some weapons here. Very interesting weapons in the old plastic prison. So there it is. Let me take it offline. Let me get all this stuff out, and we'll be back talking all things Lady J. All right, we got Lady J out of the package. Let's start off with the accessories, as we usually do. And she's got all the hands you could ever want going on here. Of course, Lady J... She's a chick that's not afraid to throw down with anybody that comes across her. She's got two fists of fury out of the package. And much like our boy Flint, she's got the gloved hands going on. She's got two different gripping hands. Looking good. Always got to have a gripping hand. Got two splayed out hands. And you got two other gripping hands. So, uh, or trigger hands. Trigger hands and gripping hands. So we got all the hands. Choose your own hand adventure, as we always do say here on the channel. She does got a little canteen here. A little uh, water bottle. A little water jug. Whatever you want to call it. She does have that. And this does have a hole, and I believe it probably fits back here. Yes, it does. Fits on the back of her belt. Doesn't fall off. Good to hear on that one there. Uh, kind of weird. I would have just sculpted this in. I don't know if a lot of people are going to be having her drinking some water. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you will. You guys tell me in the comments down below if you are. Then we get some weapons here with her. We get the, of course, official G.I. Joe rifle. We've seen it with Duke, Flint, Snake Eyes, now Lady J. Makes a lot of sense to me. A little bit warped on there. Heat it up, move it back to place. But got to have that for all the Joes. And I'm sure we'll see that throughout this line's history. We do get a little movie camera action for Lady J. All in black here. A little strap around the side. Uh, but we do have this. If you uh, want to film some movies with uh, Lady J, you can do that. So there you go. Uh, now we're getting down to her real weapons here. Now we do get uh, some of her spears. And they always had spears with different tips on them. You know, this one would be a net. This one would be a bomb. This one would be gas. You know, different gadgets and stuff. She'd uh, have all kinds of different stuff. Much like Hawkeye from Marvel with the different trick arrows and stuff. She had uh, different javelin spears and things. And of course she did have the weapon where she could shoot these if she needs to. I never really used this. Of course she had this with the toy back in the day. Uh, the classified came with this. But to me she was using 
in her hand. She was pulling this out and she was throwing it like a spear. That's how I envision Lady J with these things. But you get this all in gray. Uh, it is the launcher for these if you need it. So choose your own adventure there. Now we get two of them right here. This one's got some wings on it. Some, uh, the spear here looking really nice. You just got a straight up plain Jane one here with a nice silver tip against the brown. You get two options right there. But now this is where you get all the different options here with this one. You get this one looking just like a brown straw, but the tip, you choose your own tip adventure on this. And I forgot to mention this. You get this rocket here. You can stick that in there if you want to. There's a rocket all in the plain Jane color, so you do get that one as well. Uh, but you do get this one, and you can do all kinds of stuff. So you got all these different trick missiles. You got one here with a nice little effect piece on the end. I like the looks of that. So it's got a little effect there. That is very cool. That's probably one of the better ones of the bunch right here. And then you got tons of different ones. So you got two, four, six of them. All different kinds of spears, end pieces, things like that. Uh, definitely cool. But I don't know. To me, I don't need that many. I would have been fine with just one. With just this one by itself, you can't use them all. I'm not even sure which way I would go. But then it gets even more from that. As you do get some here, you get two more that actually have real rope and real string against them. So you can really mess this stuff up. You can really do some things here. I think that is pretty cool. Of course, you know, she could make a, a throw it over there and it hits against the wall and she could repel across. She could do all kinds of stuff like that if you need to. So really choose your own adventure with those weapons. A lot of different stuff here for old Lady J. But let's look at Lady J now. Let's get her out here. Let's take a look at the face. And much like Flint... She just needs a little bit of color in the face. But they, she does have a little bit of stuff. Of course, the brown eyebrows. Got the nice Lady J hair. All day long, I think of Lady J with this look. I don't think of her as the with the hat with the original figure. I actually didn't get the original figure as a kid because it just wasn't my Lady J. I didn't like the hat look on her. I did like what the Classified did, though, and had the double hat. They had one with the hat, one with the hair. You could choose your own head adventure that way. Uh, but definitely looks like Lady J here to me. She's got a little bit of rosiness in her cheeks. She's got that nice soft pink lipstick. Oh boy, looking good there for old Lady J. I don't have a big problem with this. Uh, it's got a little bit of paint. It's not perfect, but it is definitely cool. I do see something here. It looks like we got a little knife right there. So we got a knife you can pull out right off there on her chest. So I do like that. A little attention to detail. So we do have that. Look at some of these other heads here. We do get one. I guess she's uh, working part-time at Arby's drive through She's got the headset going on. Or she's talking to her best guy, Flint. Of course, Flint had a head like this, as we do know, uh, in the set as well. So very, very cool looking figure there. I like what I see. Definitely, definitely cool. So you do have that if you want that. Then this third head, what do we got going on here? I don't know what we got going on with this third head. It's very similar to this head here. Maybe a little bit fuller in the face, but definitely a heck of a lot more glossy. I'm not sure what this head's supposed to represent. Not sure exactly why this is here. I don't know. Very, very strange. We get an extra head that's very similar to this one. It is what it is. But this is, of course, Lady J. I would still know this is Lady J if somebody handed me this head and said, Who is this? And I would say, Oh, that's Lady J all day long. Arms go all the way around on hers. You've got a bicep cut. Single jointed elbows, back and forth, side to side at the elbow, back and forth on the hands. Much like Flint, she's got the wrapping on the wrist tape there, the part of the glove, of course. You do get the abs side to side, a little bit loose in that ab. Uh, no traditional ab crunch, but you do get the side to side going on. Big old Lady J splits if you need to. Not the biggest splits in the world, but she does have a little split action there. She's got single jointed knees. You get that. You get the boot cut. Ankles back and forth, side to side. She's got some pockets on the boots, pockets on the side of her thighs there, pockets on her belt. Uh, we're going to call her Little Lady J Pockets is what she's going to be. She does got her backpack here. Of course, it's got more of those arrows. Or not arrows, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the tips, I guess, for her, her javelin spear or whatever. She does have some of those all sculpted in. They are not removable. Would have been kind of nice to store some stuff back there, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards. Of course, we talked about that water bottle you can store on the back of her right there. Looking really good, though. I have no issues with this Lady J. Maybe could have had a little bit more color in the face, but it's still Lady J at the end of the day. This is still what I think of when I think of Lady J, and that's kind of how this line's been going. I am all about the cartoons. That's what this line does represent, so it is hitting home for me with each figure we unbox here on the channel. She does fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Looking really good. She just got her little badge there on the shoulder. I missed that as well, but... Definitely all day long. It is definitely Lady J. And of course, you got to grab out Flint. Oh, it's the teams back together. 
going to be on my shelf forever together, these two, Flint and Lady J, looking good. Of course, I did grab the Lady J from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Similar but different, a modern updated telling of Lady J, I guess is what we get with the Classified series there. But definitely, she looks good uh, in both versions, if you ask me. I like this figure a lot. I like this figure a lot. Can't go wrong right there. I do have Destro hanging out here at the table here, of course. You got Destro, so you can kind of see a little size comparison there. And, of course, a little Cobra Commander. Uh-oh, lost his, lost his uh, cape there. Old, old Lando would be embarrassed. And then we got Duke here. So I got a few of the Joes sitting here at the table looking good, looking nice. Destro, definitely the big one here. But uh, very cool. Very happy to get this. And this is a fun series. When you get Baroness and Destro, you get Flint and Lady J. It's kind of the couple series of this G.I. Joe line. So very, very good job on this Lady J. I am here for it. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? You here for it? Are you picking these ones? up let me know in the comments down below be interested to hear your thoughts on this lady j figure make sure you do let me know in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel we got videos every single day and then some yes you heard it right and then some and we got even more content for you on the patreon channel your best way to support this fair youtube channel you can also support the channel over at wrestlingtees.com search kyle peterson and don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson so for my girl lady J. I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.